Kaufman believes that we should always survive life challenges because these experiences will not just make us stronger, it will also become a part of who we are. Good afternoon, Eric. Welcome to the Self-Made Show. Thank you. Good afternoon. Yeah. Magandang hapon. Oh, cute, ah. Now, can you share with us your childhood story? I grew up in Boston, in the U.S., and uh, um, started my career rather young. I was, uh, um, uh, I worked uh, and went to school at night, uh, paid for my college that way. Uh, started off in manufacturing and worked my way up through the ranks and eventually into customer service and sales and I've been very fortunate. I've traveled to 43 countries and I've worked in about 30. So who pushed you or who inspired you? My parents, my parents did. It was, they were always focused on the family and on us and uh, they gave us a great life. Uh, uh, we came from very, a very simple environment, a uh, very simple uh, upbringing, uh, but it never felt that way. Or what's your goals at that young age? Uh, well, to be honest, I had two goals. Uh, one goal was to travel the world. Uh, I had a, a lot of interest because my parents had a very eclectic group of friends. You know, their friends were from all over the world and it, and it gave me something to be excited about in terms of what I could see as I grew up and maybe traveled. And the other thing was I wanted to reach certain economic goals right? because uh, I wanted to be able to ensure that I could give my children some of the things that I never had. So how you um, handle uh, challenges? I think uh, the, the first thing is to look at what has made you successful and what has um, given you reasons for for, for, for passion. So I always try to find a place in, in my heart and in my mind that I am passionate about and committed to. And if I can find that, it, it allows me to work through just about anything. And that's why one of the things I look for in other people is what makes them passionate? What are they passionate about? What do they care about? Because uh, at the end of the day, that's how you can take your life and your career to the next level. What brought you to Philippines? You know, when I, um, my, growing up, my, my mother's side of the, fa the family is Italian. And in the Italian culture, uh, very warm. Uh, the social dynamics are very similar. I would go to my grandparents' house, there would be 30 or 40 of us in a very small place. But it would be four or five generations, and, and we would talk and hug and, and share stories around the kitchen and around food. Um, but that, that feeling is something that I felt again when I came to the Philippines and started to become friends, a real friend, with some Philippine families. And it made me feel like some of what I treasured, some of what I felt was really important in life, I could also experience here. So I became interested in the Philippines long term as a, potentially a place to live and work. So what's the best talent that uh, Filipino have that you see? I see a lot of my employees who um, and the people that I've worked with in the past in the Philippines who are really passionate about things. And, and so I, I love the passion that they have around growing and learning and sharing. And, uh, and it's a tremendous workforce, uh, something that I've really come to appreciate. What's your best advice for our future leaders? Stick with the company for a little while. Don't, don't, don't have a bad, you know, everybody has a bad experience. Everybody has um, a situation when you're at a company where Maybe the first reaction is, maybe I should go somewhere else. If you went to a company for a reason, and that company resonates with you, feels important to you, feels like it's part of something that you could grow with, give it a chance to work through that problem, that challenge. Because ultimately, at the end of the day, a lot of our success is defined by how well we work through problems. If we solve a problem and we get through something that's really challenging, it becomes a part of who we are. How you instill that to your people? I mean, just imagine as an employer, employee, knowing that your managers are there to ensure your success. You'll behave differently. You'll act differently. You'll take more chances. You know, you'll be unafraid to try things. You'll not be afraid to ask questions. You'll not be afraid to, listen, I know this may not be a smart question or maybe something I should know, but can you help me with this or can you help me with that? When you know that your, your team, your company, your managers are there for you, it changes the relationship dynamically. Uh, because of those experiences you're going through, uh, 
with this positive. Where do you see Philippines going? The Philippines is in a great place now. We are seen as a very, very competitive place to do business. And I'm not talking about economically. I'm talking about skills and attitude and capability. And that's only going to get better. You know, so as we look at where we are, which is a, in a pretty good place, I think that the Philippines will become at some point, if we stay with it, best in class in our space in terms of workforce and capability. Like um, everybody now chain, um, talking about chains, we need chains, everything chains. What do you think that we need to state that we don't change? Culture. Don't be afraid to embrace the history and culture of who you are. So the diversity of who we are here in the Philippines and where we came from I think is very, very important. So I hope we don't lose that. So if you can take that and you can layer that in with more education, more of that available to all people, there's no stopping what we can do here in the Philippines. Do you consider yourself successful now? Uh, no, not really. Um, I consider myself a very fortunate guy who is in a position to help people. And um, I don't necessarily look at that as successful or unsuccessful. Um, to me, what's more important is being happy with what I do and adding value with people around me. Um, so I guess if that's successful, if that's how I define success, then I'm in the process of trying to be successful. Well, Eric, thank you very much for Marami those salamat. information. Thank you. And you touch our heart. Thank you. Uh, salamat. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. Thank you. Thank you. Every success has its struggles. Every dream has its trials and tests. Listen to their stories, because if they did it, you can also be called self-made.